It seems like there is a few variations, a few different ways the WWE can go about pushing Big Cass upon his return. But what does Roman Reigns have to do with those plans either happening, being changed, or being entirely off the table? Share, subscribe, smash the bell, turn on all notifications for this very channel so you always need to know on the top rumors, news headlines in WWE. Sean V and Damien, you just never know. We are here to show that we're brash and brazen, and we will not be overtaken. So everyone's been asking me, what's about Big Cass? What's the status? What's the update? Well, it doesn't look like he will be happening or returning before WrestleMania, but as we all know, anything can happen. He can make a miraculous recovery. But now, pending this whole Roman Reigns steroid allegation issue, pending that, here's the thing, here's the stipulations, here's what could happen. The rumors and the dirt sheets, the websites, the newsletters state this. The WWE is still heavily on the, you know, they are decided that Big Cass is the guy to go with. Big Cass is the future. They see dollar signs. They see big momentum in Big Cass. And just because Cass suffered that injury, you know, it was it was one injury, so the WWE doesn't deem him as injury prone. The WWE is still big and still high on pushing Big Cass. But here's where, you know, here's where there's some variables and maybe some troubles and some, some problems. Um, but a a after all, it all comes down to what the WWE ultimately wants to do. With Enzo out of the picture, Enzo out of the WWE, there's been a few rewrites, there's been a few changes, obviously, because Enzo is no longer there. Because we all know when Big Cass got injured, it was Enzo that was in the ring when that happened. So there's going to be no grudge, there's going to be no animosity, there's going to be no ill will feelings. So if Roman Reigns is cleared and is fine and nothing happens with this whole allegations against him and nothing happens, then there's going to be a huge program between Big Cass and Roman Reigns that will, you know, elevate Big Cass to the next level. Perhaps a universal championship match at SummerSlam. Rumors of Big Cass winning next year's Royal Rumble and then it will be Big Cass one-on-one -on -one with Roman Reigns at next year's WrestleMania for the Universal Championship. Once again, that is if either Roman Reigns or Big Cass wins the Royal Rumble next year. Now, if there is something that happens with Roman Reigns, well, then not only uh, is the WWE going to push a Braun Strowman and they're going to go all the way with Braun Strowman and Braun Strowman finally wins the big one, there is a lot of rumors and speculation that if Roman Reigns is fired or fined or suspended... That, that Big Cass won't necessarily come in as a bad guy. He will not come back as a heel. He will become. He will come back as a giant babyface. However, once again, if Roman Reigns does go down with these allegations, there's rumors that Big Cass could also come back as a heel, and that would be a big program with Braun Strowman, and Big Cass would push Braun Strowman to his limits. Big Cass would finally be a, the big guy that could finally show Braun Strowman what he's all about. So viewers and subscribers, you just never, ever, ever know on the brash and brazen Sean Van Damon, I will not be overtaken. What direction and what way should they go with Big Cass? And are you interested in a Big Cass Roman Reigns program or a Big Cass Roman Reigns match? Should it take place at SummerSlam? Should Roman Reigns be in yet another main event of WrestleMania? That would be what, four or five WrestleManias in a row for Roman Reigns is a little bit too much. Is it too early for for Big Cass to be in the main event at a WrestleMania. Are you interested in Big Cass? Do you think Big Cass has the mic work and the etiquette and the entertainment value to get himself over? Or is the WWE going to sour on him? Should Big Cass come back as a good guy or a bad guy? Viewers and subscribers, share my videos on Facebook and Twitter. Like my official Facebook fan page. Donate to become dedicated in the links below in the comment section or in the description of the video. Like my video, share, subscribe. More to come. Refresh my YouTube channel. And of course, smashing that bell will do a world of good for the brash and the brazen Sean Vendamin. Thank you for joining me on another installment of Sean Vendamin. Huge WrestleMania 35 news also coming up that I am working on right now. That will be coming up next for all the viewers and the subscribers. And I think Big Cass can go a long way as long as he can avoid backstage heat and trouble and animosity. If Big Cass can stay healthy, well then I think Big Cass is going to have a big career for himself under the banner of WWE. And there can be no mistaken about that. Big Cass, ladies and gentlemen, has all the tools and all the fundamentals. We saw what he was about in NXT. We saw those utilized in WWE. And then when he got injured, you know, some of that momentum was halted. But Big Cass will not let this, you know, deter him. We know he just went through a breakup. We know he just went through a relationship. There is perhaps some heartbreak there. But um, viewers and subscribers, I can't wait to see how the WWE is going to utilize Big Cass. Now, when you look at a Big Cass in a Roman Reigns, there is no in-between. There can only be one. There can only be one guy. There can only be one mega athlete. But I, I can actually see Big Cass as, as getting over as a really good, good guy. A big guy, so to speak. Will Big Cass become the next reigning, defending, universal heavyweight champion of the Raw brand? More to come. Stay tuned. Subscribe and share.